Hey, this is Mikey with another After Effects quick tutorial. And today we're gonna to be building a light wrap. Um, first off, what is a light wrap? So I've got one here already built and let's just kind of talk about what it is and then I'm gonna show you how to do it. What it is, is let's see, I've got some green screen footage here. Let's take off the light wrap. Uh, there's the background, there's the foreground. And what a light wrap is, is if I solo this layer, you can see I've got some of the background that wraps around the foreground. And it's a soft version, so it's not like fading the edges or anything like that. It's it's actually wrapping around the foreground. See, I've got it right in front. Um, and so that's the light wrap. And what it does is it helps composite things together. It makes it more real. When you're actually in an environment, some of the, the colors and what the room looks like is going to be bouncing around and it's going to be reflecting onto you. And so a light wrap helps to sell a composite. You can see here, I can just dial this up and I've got some of the colors shining onto the foreground. And so most of the tutorials out there that you're going to see about building a light wrap uh, are seem, they're pretty complicated. They've got lots of different layers that you have to pre-comp and this and that. Um, and I'm gonna show you an easier way of doing that. So I'm gonna just take this light wrap, and let's go ahead and hide that and let's build a new one. First you need a background. This is my background. And you need a foreground. I've, I've went ahead and I've already keyed this out and I've pre-composed it um, because it needs to show up as an alpha. So let's take the background, I'm gonna duplicate it, bring it to the foreground. First thing we're going to do is add a blur to this. Now I already had a blur set to this background because I wanted it to blur a little bit to pop out the foreground. So I don't need to add it, but I have a fast blur here. So we add a fast blur. Then we go to effects, channel, set matte. And we're gonna set this matte to our layer that's a green screen. So I'm gonna come in here and just rename this to green screen. So let's set that to green screen. And you can already see there's a little bit of an outline there. But if I solo this layer, there's also the inside, and I don't want the inside, I just want the edge. The next effect is in blur. We go to channel blur, and we're going to blur the alpha. And then the last step is to take this set mat. I'm gonna hit Command D or Control D, we'll duplicate it. I'm gonna bring it to the bottom of the stack. And I'm gonna take this top set mat and invert it. And so what we have here, as you can see, we've got some of this light wrapping around. Now what this initial fast blur is, is it's going to soften that so it doesn't look like our edges are just transparent and that we just get the overall kind of color of the background shining onto the foreground. So that is our light wrap. And then just to control this, I can come in here and change the opacity. I can switch this over to say like a screen and you can see if we don't overdo with the light wrap, it does make quite a bit of difference helping to sell this composite. So thank you so much for watching. Just in a quick recap, we used the set mat on this top layer. So we brought the background to the top, set mat, we blurred it, set mat, channel blur, then set mat again. Let's take a quick look at that, how we did that. If you have any questions, feel free to put them down in the comments below. If you have a tutorial suggest, again, put those down in the comments. I'd love to hear what you have. And if I can do it, we'll do a tutorial on it. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.